Coding is going to change a lot this year in 2025. And if you don't adapt, you could get left behind. Last year in 2024, we saw software engineers worried that AI is going to replace them. Some hoped it wouldn't happen. Others adapt and learned new skill sets to stay ahead. Fast forward to this year, 2025, we have literally seen AI replacing AI. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about DeepSeek and ChatGPT. If you're unfamiliar with what DeepSeek is, a quick less than 10 second rundown deep seek is china's chat gpt except it's more efficient and cheaper now here's a reality check so we can be clear i'm not here to push some fear-mongering idea that software engineers are going to be replaced by ai overnight because that's just not true at all but i will say that software engineering is changing and if you are not putting in the work to stay ahead you run the risk of putting yourself in a tough spot where your job security is going to be at risk so let's break down what's actually happening so we can figure out ways that you can adapt. What is changing so much in software engineering? Well, let me just roll the clip. Probably in 2025, we at Meta, as well as the other companies that are basically working on this, are going to have an AI that can effectively be a sort of mid-level engineer that you have at your company that can write code. As you can see, Mark Zuckerberg is saying that AI is going to replace mid-level software engineers. As if juniors weren't already having a hard time in this job market, they have an even more hard time because AI is looking to replace even mid-level engineers. This brings us to an important question. Well, how much code is actually being written by AI? Well, according to a study done back in 2023, 41% of GitHub's code has been written by AI. That's a lot of code. And that was 2023. We are now in 2025. So I only imagine that that number has skyrocketed. So with a lot of GitHub's code being written by AI, this means that we can make a pretty solid assumption that AI isn't just the future. AI is here today. So what does that mean for me, for you, and other aspiring software engineers? Does this mean that full stack development, game development, mobile development are all just gone along with the other coding disciplines? Absolutely not. These fields are actually future proof because of how much human management they require. I mean, if you think AI is going to create and manage games such as God of War, Cyberpunk, League of Legends, and manage full websites like Facebook, Instagram, you've got to be crazy. AI is powerful, but it still needs developers who understand architecture, theory, and integration at a high level. So if it means that nothing is getting replaced, what does it mean? It means that you should start familiarizing yourself with AI now. So now I'm going to talk about how you can stay ahead and adapt. The first things first, you need to just start learning the AI fundamentals. If you're a college student, start taking an elective AI and machine learning class. I know for me, on top of my math class this summer, I'm also taking a machine learning class. You need to understand AI fundamentals like neural networks, data pre-processing, model training, getting hands on experience with some of these tools like PyTorch and TensorFlow. These things will give you an edge. And if you're not in college or you want to take something on top of your course curriculum, there are tons of different online coding resources. I can recommend you guys to Zero to Mastery's AI and Machine Learning course, where you can learn these AI concepts at your own pace. It's a 45-hour course with over 350 lessons. The things you'll master in there are language learning modules, neural networks, how to create AI projects and how to present those AI projects so that you can actually get hired. And a great way that you can adapt is just by going in there and start building some AI integrated applications. Learn to actually code AI in your projects. That's actually why I like Zero to Mastery is because they teach you that rather than just learning the theory. You can also play around with open AI's APIs to create intelligent chatbots, AI driven automation scripts, and smart assistants. You can also experiment with computer vision using OpenCV 
these image generation with stable diffusion. Now, I know this all might sound like gibberish and you're probably like, yo, what is this guy talking about? But the bottom line is the more you understand how AI works and thinks in production, the better you can integrate it in your own skill sets. Speaking of skill sets, you need to also be adding prompt engineering into that belt, especially if you're a computer science major, because the truth is AI is only as good as the person using it. Knowing how to craft the right prompts can determine whether AI is going to be useful for you or not at all. Learn how to structure your prompts effectively for coding, automation, and other creative tasks. I mean, I create content, so I use AI quite a bit. You can study different prompt engineering techniques such as chain of thought prompting, role-based prompting, and iterative refinement to get the most out of your outputs. So what is the big takeaway from this video? The landscape of software engineering is evolving and changing, but that doesn't mean AI is something to fear. AI is something to embrace. If you can master coding and AI, you won't just survive this shift, you will actually thrive in it. So invest in yourself, learn the required skills, take the time to really learn AI and watch how much you'll benefit from it in the future. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you. If it did, drop a like and subscribe and comment down what you are going to do today to get ahead in this AI shift. As always, I'll respond to all the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.